Good evening everybody, this is Subnix8842 and happy October to you all as I present you guys a brand new Let's Play as my, 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 my Halloween special LP will start tonight and what Halloween special LP am I going to do tonight? Well, it's no other than Red Dead Redemption, but wait, didn't I already do a Let's Play Red Dead Redemption? Yes I have, but... I'm actually doing a certain DLC called uh, the Undead Nightmare. So yeah, guys, the day has finally come. But don't worry, I'm not gonna put Fairy Fencer F on hold. I will, I will still be focusing on Fairy on Fairy Fencer F. But I decided to start my Halloween project tonight since October first just came. And so once again, maybe I'm rock star as usual. And now, alright, I'm going to show you guys the main menu and the title, but once I uh, go to start, I'm going to make a little jump cut so I can uh, make a new game and start from the very beginning. And so let's hit start. Scan for install, yada yada yada, and just hit single player. And with that, welcome to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption and the Undead Nightmare. So, excuse me, folks. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Just start, just start a new game from my, uh, from my, from my loaded file, and now we're starting our first mission called "Love in the Time of Plague." So, yeah, hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. And once again, this is kind of semi-blind since I haven't beaten it yet, but I did get a little far in, far in the game. I just didn't have time to, p to play more of it ever since I uh, got Fairy Fencer F and uh, Hyrule Warriors. Oh god damn it! The screen is so dark. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't remember to do that. To rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening, Shit, I should have fucking done that doing that jump cut. Oh well. I'll see if I can uh, adjust the brightness in the next video. Almost anything. <laughs> hmm, it's getting scary already, isn't it? But yeah, but this game isn't really based off the actual Red Dead Redemption. But as I said, this just this is just a DLC. Wow, you saw that little graphic glitch right there? Holy crap. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. And no guys, I am not doing Slendery Robbers. Fuck that. I will do a less mess less mess around with it, but now I'll think about it. Damn. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Awkward. Your lordship. Normally the mother would tell her son to stop cursing, but his son telling her telling his mom to stop cursing. Awkward. Far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass. See, if I tell my mom to stop cussing, she she's like, I cuss if I want to since since I'm the one who paid the bills. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to, mother. I think that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. <laughs> Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> Dear boy. You know what? Oh, I am so proud. Yeah, I think after this cutscene goes off, I'm gonna see if I can adjust the brightness. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy. Yeah, you remember John Marston, right? Howling, birds flying. Well, it's just the storm. The main no? protagonist. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? Yeah, I remember I did say I was going to do a let's play of Undead I Nightmare at, at some point when I was LP in the original I mean, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, wow, doesn't it feel Dallas like you're being watched? We busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Oh shit, so it starts. Well, that old man 
man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You gone psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I so what you guys been up to? So today's October first. I didn't really do much today. But I just got done watching uh, South Park, and it was pretty disturbing. What you reading? This guy ate some food and his dick just came out. Ugh! Disturbing. Tell me about it. It just went out and went flying like a rocket ship. That suit me just fine. Well, it's all about in ancient times how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun, but during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon. Instead. Yeah, and I believe this game isn't really isn't really as long as the original uh, Red Dead Redemption. What it involves is there's this one guy and he goes out in search of this kid. Oh yeah, his, if you got if you guys forgotten his son is uh John and the wife is Abigail. That leaves him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody. Which is absolutely disgusting. And completely unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not Actually, I do love how this cutscene starts out. Then, but don't be surprised Jack, if this mission is going to be repetitive, because you know that's you that's Rockstar for y'all. Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning, just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. Shoot, my mind stay up late and read all the time. It's a full moon tonight. Oh shit. You okay, old man? Oh yes, his you uncle. But so now he, he somehow got infected. And he's a son for some apparent reason. Holy shit. What the hell is wrong with you? Him with a fucking lamp. There you go. And leave his wife alone? Why couldn't he just leave his gun in his room? That way he had to go to his fucking shed where he put his gun at. Doesn't John Watson look bad in his pajamas? <laughs> run! Run! And who's seen that coming? Bitch trips and falls. Okay, I need to learn how to remember how to how to aim and shoot. All right, put my eyes misery. Headshot. Oh shit, she got bitten. Holy shit! I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well, you okay, darling? You okay? Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good lord, what's happened? Mama! Don't go near her! Mama. Don't go near her! Mama. Told you! Holy shit. Stay right there, the pair of Don't make me no widower now. Yeah, that was quite obvious was gonna happen. Get too close to the Get, get too close to an infected person and gets bit. Oh god, now his wife and his son are zombies. Oh man, do we gotta kill them? Okay, now we got a hog tie Abigail. Okay. You hit trying with a hog tie. Oh my god, come on, don't, don't put your butt in the camera. Holy shit. Well, that's uh, John Marsh's ass for you ladies. For you ladies out there. Alright. Oh my god, his butt's in the camera again. Come on. <laughs> I don't roll like that, dude. 
Oh my god, I did say I was gonna adjust the brightness when the cussing goes over. I forgot to do that. So what are we gonna do with John and Abigail? Kill them? I hope not. I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick crazy bastards or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. If they can stay calm, that is. Seen both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both How can she? She's a fucking zombie. Be back as soon as I can. Alright. We should begin to the gameplay now. Yep, it's old fashioned outfit. Yeah, you wanna it's the best way to kill zombies, you wanna headshot them. Cause if you just shoot in their body, they'll take a they'll take a bunch of hits. Alright, find help in black water. Alright, you know what? Alright, I gotta I gotta wait till it stops saving. Alright. Now let's see, where can I go to settings? Game No. It should be under options. No. It should be under display. Brightness. I guess that's good. I guess that's good. Okay, much better. Alright, now... Alright, now, how can I explain this? That green icon on your map, that's your save. But since it has all save, we're not going to save it. But I will have to manually save if I want to continue my practice file. Oh yeah, you can call your horse by hitting the uh, up D patch like you did in the original Red Dead Redemption. To run, tap X to hold and to run a little faster, just hold down the X button. But uh, but the longer you run, he'll he'll eventually get tired. Okay, I'm gonna set a waypoint. All right, if you guys are not familiar with with the original uh, Red Dead Redemption, I already did a let's play of it, like like a year ago. Let's go. And if you guys want to watch it, feel free to watch it. It's a really awesome game. So my Halloween special let's play starts tonight. All right, I tell you what. When I go to after I feel a custom at Black War, I'm probably gonna end the episodes. Matter of fact, I guess I'll end the episode once I get near uh, Black Water. But we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, oh, okay, now, just like the original Red, Red Dead Redemption, that meter on the lower left, that's your horse's stamina. Once it depletes, he will get tired and he'll throw you off his horse, and then... Okay, oh yeah, cutscene. God save us. And that meter on the right, you met with your, uh, it's your dead eye meter. Alright. So where is it? No, I guess we can view that cutscene. Alright, yeah, we and we gotta go there ourselves since our horse is a chicken to go to our destination. Alright. So now start our first mission. Second mission technically. Professor. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I am a man of science, a, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that dandy? Well, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. 
or fight to the death trying. Well, well that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse... Oh, yes, yeah, the professor. The north, we had, we had a score with that train. The paper on the events from the in the original Red Dead Redemption. I'm a scientist, after all, right? I mean, yes, I, not only late mention it, but yeah. If I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? Uh, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. You might want to escort him there, John. You should stay with me. I mean, um, yeah, John. Yeah, got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's oh wait, did I mention his son was John? I meant to say Jack. God damn it. Wow. But a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. Oh god, it's that Indian guy. Oh god. Holy fuck. Who would have seen that coming? Yeah, if I called up uh, John's son John, I'm terribly sorry about that. I meant to say Jack and Abigail. Ah, uh, dead eye, headshot. All right, search for more survivors. You, 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 inc you increase the dead eye. Oh God, no! Oh my God, that thing cock locked me. All right, I need my horse, cause I need I need to find a good stopping point. All right, Let's go. where can we? Um, cause I I need to go somewhere make a stopping point in case, cause I don't want to get attacked by those by those zombie creatures. All right, I guess it's a good I guess this is a good stopping point. Alright guys, so that's it for part one of Let's Play the Undead Nightmare, my my Halloween project of this year. And yeah, I forgot to mention this is this is my second Halloween project. The first Halloween project I did was the Bikini Zombie Slayer. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't really like that game too well. Oh god, no 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 Shit. Yeah man, it looks like I looks like I gotta pause and stop. Yeah, we're definitely gonna pause then stunt in case I get attacked by those zombies. So anyway, I hope you guys gonna enjoy this let's play because next time let's play uh, Undead Nightmare, we're gonna go to the uh, letter U on our map and see how can we save this world from from zombie in invasion. So until next time, Celtics A four two out and happy early ho Halloween. Later, folks.